Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Gymshark Black Friday run through of everything, my faves, must-haves, all that malarkey. Now I've been working with Gymshark for seven years, um, so I pretty much have tried and tested every collection they've released. Over the seven years part of my job has been to um, kind of review and test and, and talk to you guys about the different pieces. I'm just much more thoughtful with my fashion. That's the kind of word mindful and thoughtful that kind of is the main thing that I'm thinking about when I'm kind of picking pieces for my wardrobe at the moment. But I also know that I do try and test a lot of clothes as part of my job, so I do have a large selection. Anyway, this is my huge selection here. We've got things laid out there and then we've got some all lined up on there. So I am starting the cutest little Abercrombie chenille cardigan. I must not get sidetracked, guys. I'm going to put some of my favourite in the style, um, straight leg jeans. So, obviously, 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 I'm starting with my faves, the Elevate collection. Let's start firstly with the black Elevate leggings. So these are, I think this is my new pair because I'm currently in between a size medium and large in the Elevate leggings. Um, so these are the medium, so they fit a little bit tighter than my other ones. Like, guys, I will not ever get over these Elevate leggings. So these have been very worn and very washed. So you can see there the logo is peeling slightly, but that doesn't bother me too much. Kind of wanted to give you a shot there of they haven't bobbled, they haven't literally, they like look amazing. I'm so happy with how well they've washed because like I said, I've washed them 6,000 times. Every single time I put on my pair of Elevate leggings, James goes, ooh, where are those leggings from? Those ones are nice. And every time <laughs> I go, they're the Elevate leggings. And then the other day when I did my Skims haul, so this is the Elevate Sports Brow, by the way, he was like, oh, are those Skims leggings? Because they're nice. I was like, no, they're the Elevate leggings, again. And if I actually come in the sunlight, I think that'll be helpful. How well can we see? I just want to kind of do a squat test. Um, wait, are you actually getting it? Yeah. A squat test in each of the leggings just so we know what we're looking for obviously we have got quite nude pants on there um but that's the type of thing that i'll wear and if something's see-through you're gonna see your pants whether you're wearing black beige or whatever um because that you just you're gonna see we saw it in the skims items we're gonna know if anything's super see-through i know i'm gonna have popped it up on the screen already because i forgot to say it at the beginning um but i have my um Discount code CARIS, which always works on Gymshark, on sale prices as well. But on the Black Friday sale, there are going to be amazing sales. And then on top of that, my code is still going to work. So make sure you use it because you get an extra 10% off the sale price with the code. It's literally just CARIS, C-A-R-Y-S. So I just think that's fab. Okay, right. Next, we've got the Elevate jacket. One of my fave jackets Gymshark has ever brought out. Um, I love it. It's a really, really comfortable material. Like I've tried a lot of sports jackets that are very restrictive. Now this, I think I could go a size down in. I think this is the large and I think just a medium would just give me a little bit more cinching here. Like I said, I am between a medium and large in some of the pieces at the moment. The other thing I love is this um, kind of material on the arm, like a hand bit. It's almost like, so the rest of it and the kind of elevate leggings are, are like almost a, uh, everyday sporty material so they're not that like super shiny material but they are that shiny so, like you do know it's a sports material right on the arms there just for this patch you've got this like ribbed soft soft like stretchy cotton material and it's just really nice because i pull my hands like that over my hands this material can be a little bit cold and not so cozy so you get these little cozy bits but i just think it's genius like literally genius you like that it has a little bit of room so i don't think i'm gonna bother kind of like ordering the other size because I still like really like wearing it in this size. So yeah, that's the first one. Then my second um, most worn color is this color here. I've worn this quite a lot. The logo has, a, well, it hasn't started peeling yet, but I don't wear it as much as my, just showing you for like how well they've washed because again, I've worn these a lot um, and the material seems literally exactly the same as when I first got them. I will pop these ones on because they are my second most worn leggings slash one of my most worn leggings overall from Gymshark. This is in the large. Um, so this just has, it still fits really nicely. And, but it, do you know what I mean? They're so stretchy and it just has. I found that it was just ruffling in a few more places, which is what made me think that um, I could go down to the medium. Now, I would say I'm between a 14 to 16 at the moment. 
I don't really know which one I go to. I'd say like on the bottoms, I probably tend to be more towards a 16. But obviously, yeah, I don't know. It's just different, isn't it? Sizing's different. Obviously, it doesn't matter what size you wear. I just try and wear whatever size fits and feels good. But at the same time, it's impossible to know what size that is to order when stuff's online these days. So I find that really difficult. Um, but yeah, it was just bagging at the knees slightly and stuff. So the medium just sits a little bit more kind of like tight everywhere, which I really like in leggings. Um, but this is this colour, which I just, oh, I'm just obsessed with. I just think it's so, so, so dreamy. What have we got? Anything? I can't see anything in my mirror. Sometimes it shows like worse on the camera in a good way. Like we get more, we can actually see if something's see-through. But I wasn't getting anything really from my mirror. So this is the jacket that matches. How dreamy, like literally obsessed. In terms of different colours, this is actually the only thing I think within this haul that I haven't washed because I unpacked this last. Um, and this is because I see you got the I got the tag on, so I know I haven't washed this pair. Um, but they're all pretty much exactly the same. Um, gorgeous, like purpley, dusty purple colour. These I've worn quite a lot. I didn't actually think I'd wear these that much when I first got them. I was like, oh, they're a bit wacky for me. But I actually love them. And this is like the greeny colour that they do, which is gorgeous as well. Okay, next we have Sweat Seamless, another very, very popular um, set in my books. One of the reasons that I love Elevate Leggings, uh, I'm just back talking about the Elevate Leggings, guys, um, the Seamless Leggings, is I feel like they give you quite a lot of protection. Like they're quite a, a thick kind of cozy material they're very stretchy so these are i think things get stretchier as well as you wear them so if something ever arrives and it feels a little bit stiff i always think that's quite normal with active wear and the more that you kind of wear it the more it like molds to your body i don't actually like compression active wear where it, like i feel like that was when i was like a size six or eight i wanted all the compression in the world to kind of cinch my waist in and be like <laughs> Cause it didn't like hurt <laughs> but now like if I, like it's fine and then i'll eat a sandwich and try and sit down it's just like my compression leggings like i don't know where my rolls and my skin are meant to go they're just like squishing out of the compression so compression isn't necessarily for me the elevate leggings i wear so much because they are very much like everyday i style them into all my everyday outfits with the black leggings and stuff but the sweat seamless is more for me of an active wear look like I active wear leisure, athleisure, whatever they call it, it, it's like, you know you're wearing active wear, and I like that, so I kind of wear these styles more to the gym. In summer I wore like a, a linen shirt with my blue set and my green set and stuff, but in the winter I feel like you could do like snug cardigan, Ugg boots, that's the green colour, I'm obsessed. Then we've got the all blue colour, which I loved wearing in the summer with my, sorry my camera's like, is it overheating already? We've only just started, hun. We've got a long way to go. Yeah, it is literally overheating. <laughs> We've only just started. Um, this blue colour is absolutely dreamy. I love it. Wore that loads in the summer. Have I literally got those on back to front? What the heck? I have. <laughs> How did I not notice that? That is so funny. That's actually hilarious. And they're very similar front to back, aren't they? They've just got that little logo there. There they are, the right way around, guys. <laughs> still all the same, really. It still kind of curves under, curves over. It's got this, yeah, the waistband's just gorge. Love it, obsessed. So yeah, I can't see anything in the sunlight. Don't know what you guys can see. That might help. I'm going to open my window to help cool my camera down because we're literally a few pieces in and my camera's already overheating. <laughs> Because the sun is beaming in. Right, whilst my camera recovered from the heat, it's heat stroke, um, I put on my bright turquoise, blue, whatever colour they are, thick period pants. Because what I love about these sweat seamless ones, these are more of a recent one for me, but I was on my period the other day and I will now from now onwards go for these when I'm on my period because I wore my period pants, I wore these and I felt really good. They had a lot of protection, they had a lot of thickness. Now if we do the squat proof test, I feel like I might be able to uh, push see a little glimmer of the blue. Um, I could definitely see it at the top there, poking up. Um, but in terms of like how bright that is and how you guys know, like we, we saw it with the Skims leggings, if something's see-through, it's see-through. Um, and these just, for me, have been really good for that. Now, with brighter colours, 
you are like they are going to be more see-through again we saw it, the skins the light gray was just very see-through but that's the same with pretty much every brand i've tried like if you go for those light grays those light beiges they are so hard to get not sheer like they are just going to be really hard now this is obviously a dramatic combo here i would always pretty much wear um a neutral seamless thong with my leggings and i don't really seem to have a problem with the majority of them but then maybe in my collection you can see i don't kind of tend to go for the light grays the light light kind of like bright colors even like say a bright blade baby blue or something it is going to be harder to um go for that and i know a lot of people that just go commando i often go commando in my leggings i know some people are like oh my god what i used to literally like live commando like never wear any pants and everyone will be like what but then you'll meet someone who does the same and i feel like once you do it it's hard to go back because all the facts and stuff are there as to why it's actually so beneficial to, to go commando and not wear pants but people find it so odd i've actually reverted back to wearing them now which is weird but um it was so handy when i didn't wear them it's just so much better like in terms of like bacteria like hygiene everything like that people think it's like ew but it's actually the opposite it's like really good for you anyway what was i doing next okay next we have the sweat seamless zipper now this is in the black color as you can see this is a washed black i do actually have the matching black leggings but i think they're in the wash because i couldn't find them um when i was putting together my pieces for this video it's got the little things here Whoop. Now this also has a ribbed cottony fabric where the Elevate one is, but the Elevate one is very thin, very stretchy, and if you're not someone who likes compression and restriction, the sweat jacket is pretty like it sucks you in. Now don't get me wrong, it's very flattering, but um, I think the Elevate jacket just has a bit more of that stretch and like comfort, whereas the sweat jacket, as you can see, literally like sucks you in all around. It feels very comfy. It's still super stretchy, don't get me wrong, and comfortable. Um, but it's got more of that, like, medium compression feel to it. So, it is super flattering there. It's almost got rouging. It, I mean, it pretty much is rouging. Down the zip line, you can see if you pull it straight, it rouges a little bit. Um, so, they've done that on purpose to kind of create that rouged effect across the stomach, which works really well. It is absolutely gorgeous to wear. Right, next we're gonna do legacy leggings. Now the legacy leggings have been a long time fave of mine and for a while I was like, where are the new colors of legacy? They are unreal. I have, well, I have so many. Do I have a, one here? Hang on. I can only find this one in, as an example, but I have so many of the like original legacy colors. Wait, do the older legacy come with pockets and these don't? Obviously, so many little tweaks are done over time, but they must be like, yeah, they must be the older legacy because they have pockets. I don't even think they do that color anymore. Then these are like the newer ones without pockets and with the bum scrunch. Um, it's a very subtle bum scrunch, by the way. Don't run away. I also run away when I see a bum scrunch, but you don't, there's no bum scrunch. Like when you've got it on, you don't see a bum scrunch. These were my pregnancy leggings. The stretch, the comfort. Now, I did size up, I was a large at the time before my pregnancy, and then I sized up to an extra large, so I sized up one size for pregnancy. They lasted me up until the day I give birth. I literally went into the hospital to give birth in these leggings. My bumps, if you know my bumps, I will pop up a photo. They were wow, wow, wow. Um, beautiful and big, but it was hard to find clothes that stretched over them. These leggings were a dream. So Legacy have always had a very special place in my heart. I love them. Um, they have got more of a um kind of like definite logo that isn't as subtle yes the elevate leggings for example their logo is there it is literally black on black it is hard to see and you could just get away with them looking like black leggings from the front these are perfect black leggings from the back you do have like that cool logo i love the logo but that's just i just share knowledge is power i'm sharing all the knowledge and all the review that i can um now as you can see from the back here they have a bum scrunch on the back i thought i would just see whether the blue pants survived because I kind of know that they'll survive the black legacy leggings but um I just want to sort of see if they'll survive these purple ones again like these period pants oh you can't see that these period pants are thick so like you do get a thick seam which is again why I wear seamless leggings uh, seamless pants with my things oh my gosh I'm so impressed you literally can't see I love 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 okay so yeah these are amazing. Obviously, I have my period pants on <laughs> here, so we might not be getting the most flattering vibes. But for me, I love the thickness of the waistband. Again, in comparison to the Elevate, the Elevate does have 
a nice thick waistband again compared to others. But I would say the Legacy, yeah, you can see here if we compare them, is literally just like a centimetre longer. But if you're someone that loves that very high waisted, like the Elevate is not that high, like it's literally overlapping my bra. That's a vibe a lot of people like. Thick waistband, very high waisted. Legacy is your best friend for that. I absolutely love how they look. Let me show you the black pair. Um, and the material is that well-known saying, they're buttery soft, super stretchy. They just really are. Um, so yeah, let's try these black ones on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Just so comfy. So, so, so comfy. Comfy? <laughs> Comfortable. See, the logo is like pretty discreet. And like, if you're just gonna be wearing tops and jumpers anyway, like it is absolutely gonna pass for, yeah, those are absolutely fine. <coughs> the wind is blowing my hair. <laughs> Try to um, I love how like thick and like non-see-through they are. Wow, I have a way with words, guys. Okay, you don't need to work out in these active wear clothes, guys. You just need to try them on. That's enough of a workout. Just try on your whole active wear collection and the workout's done. So, that's seamless. Uh, uh, what am I on about? That's Legacy. Okay, after Legacy, we will do, let's just keep the blue, let's just keep the bright blue pants on. I know they're not the most flattering on the bum, but I think it'll give, give us a good idea of if we want to wear our big blue pants. Um, so, pocket leggings. People love a legging with a pocket. These are fab. They are, again, more of a sporty look. They've got more of a logo that's on show. They're that, like, kind of similar to Elevate material. Sporty, really stretchy, really soft, really lovely. Um, now, let's try this colour on. And then they also come in black. The waistband is a little bit dinkier, so you're not going to get that, like, super high waist, um, like, waistband feel but they're really nice to put on. I don't know, they're probably the same amount of stretch as the others, maybe a tiny bit less, um, but they're still like gorgeous enough. Pockets are so handy. Um, I do find that these ones fall down a little bit. People find that, like obviously our bodies are completely different shapes, literally from hips to boobs to everywhere. It's completely different on every person, which is obviously awesome, but that means that everyone experiences a different thing when it comes to clothing and sizing and leggings and everything. Now, I will raise the fact that people with the Elevate leggings sometimes, like people have said, oh, they fall down on me. I don't find that a problem with the Elevate, but I do find it a problem with these. But when I posted about these, I've not had anyone say that they find that a problem. So it's just kind of like trial and error sometimes. But these are handy. If you're someone who loves a pocket legging, let me show you my phone in the pocket. I just think the pockets are really big and actually like handy as well. I feel like I've had pocket leggings in the past. Um, from like Amazon that I got that just weren't, how are these gonna do? They weren't actually like, they didn't actually hold the phone in them. So you can see they're less high waisted. Oh my gosh, it's literally pouring with rain, hang on. Oh my gosh. We've just gone from like my camera overheating in the sun to nearly being <laughs> drowned in the rain. What is this weather? This is crazy. And we've got a massive black cloud out there now. So the lighting's probably completely different, but I have got a ring light behind me, which does do well to show up any kind of like see-throughness. So I think that's doing pretty well as well. Oh my gosh, can you hear the rain? Wow, it's giving cozy. It's giving cozy autumn vibes, guys. Um, now, obviously I am doing the darker colors. You know, like I say, if I put on, a much brighter color then maybe we'd have a different story with these pads um and you know i would kind of expect that from any brand really but i do tend to just wear and reach more for the darker colors so i thought i would show those exactly the same style the black pair they do actually have a more subtle logo with the black on black again like the elevate legging okay next we're going to do vital seamless a very popular range um just in general for like working out they're just a super street, streamy, <laughs> super stretchy, seamless legging. Um, I think it's one of their best sellers, to be honest, because it is literally like kind of perfect for working out. Like, look how stretchy they are. Really stretchy. People love that seamless look. There's no seam on the crotch. You've got a nice kind of deep waistband, but it is that seamless material. I think in general, I tend to 
gravitate more towards items that are like more that kind of elevate buttery like silky fabric but then of course the sweat seamless came in and that jumped straight to the top of my list the vital have never been like top three for me um but maybe that's just because of my preferences with that or maybe that's because of my like love for styling my Gymshark leggings within my normal outfits and these do have a like sportier feel so you've got the kind of like sporty breathable like fabric all the way down I tend to go for my Vital when I'm working out like they'll be like a, a, a one that I gravitate towards for workouts which is obviously the point of Gymshark um, is workout clothes but we all know we just kind of like use them in everyday life as well so this is the Vital Seamless Half Zip, Quarter Zip. I love it. Wait, is that still? Yeah. I love this because I feel like it's not like super restrictive. It's not, it's got like just a lot of stretch in it. It's got that nice soft seamless fabric. It just feels really nice and it's just very easy to wear. It's got the little holes. Um, Vital Seamless is like a very wide range of products. You've got loads of tops, you've got loads of kind of long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops, um, zips, kind of things like that. So let's have a look. We've got a short zip and the long sleeve top. I've put these because they're pretty much my other two fave items. I have always loved a seamless long sleeve top right from, they also have the little holes, um, right from when I first started with Gymshark. Like I used to love all the kind of original blue and black when they first brought out their blue and black first seamless things. I've always loved the long sleeve tops. They are tight. If you're conscious of your stomach or anywhere really, like they are gonna show. They mold to your body. That's the style of the top. But surprisingly, I've just always felt really good in them. Like I used to obviously wear them when I was a size extra small in Gymshark and now I wear them um, when I'm a size large. I'm not sure if this is the medium or large, but um, whether I had been wearing them as, a, as an extra small or a large, um, I've loved it. So that's always good. I love that they came out with these, these little cropped seamless jumpers. Love them. I do have the matching bras and stuff, but I tend to actually only really wear, um, not only, but I reach for a lot more of my sweat seamless bras and my Elevate bras. They're just my two faves. I love this little cropped cropped one. I just think it's really gorgeous and it sits really nicely with the leggings and stuff. Love and it's really nice. It's like just like a throw over little jacket to wear with your leggings. Put these brown ones on now. Probably more than the black, my most worn colour of Vital is this brown. I just really love it. Let's see how that does with the blue. A slight, slight glimmer of the blue. Hello. Are you a cup of tea? Oh, thanks. Oh, freezing from sitting at that desk. And I am boiling. Boy, I bet I'm so glad if not opening that window, because if that window was going to be open, I would have been like, it was just it's open. so cold. It was just open and we shut That's it. why it's so cold. <laughs> it's drafted all the way down. James is literally freezing. I've got my Gymshark hoodie on. That's because you're sat at a desk. I've got my Gymshark. Oh, you've got your Gymshark on. on. I've got my Gymshark sock shot. Wow. We we are a walking, talking Gymshark we loving are. family here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's I'm fun. honestly going to take five after this and drink it because I'm so out of breath. Come yeah, join me if you want. I'm just <laughs> sitting at the desk. <laughs> cool. I'll be like, please wake up Mabel so I can stop working. I know. With you. I don't know how she's napping. I'm literally shouting. You're streaming, I know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So. Saying that I love the sweat seamless and the Elevate bras most, I do. But I do also love the shape of this one. Um, I really love the thicker straps. For someone with bigger boobs, it's a lot more comfortable than the thin, tiny straps. Um, and at the back, it's obviously adjustable. Um, and it just feels very much like more of a comfortable, functional bra, which is nice. And it goes really nice with the sets. Um, now, we've got the cropped jacket. I won't bother putting that one on, because like I said, I've got so much to show you guys. But that's the cropped jacket that matches it. Same as the black one we just tried on. This is, I'll try it on with this. Oh, that's like a nice little two-tone brown set we've got going on. Now this is, I don't know if you can get the vibe, 
but I am talking the most lightweight, the most, I literally, it's as light as a feather. It's lighter than a feather, this material. It is literally like air. So it just depends what you want, but I'll tell you what, I love it for working out. When I'm in that mood where I just want to wear something over my active wear that is breathable, not sweaty, you know, that I just kind of want to cover up almost and just feel a bit, I don't know, sometimes it's so weird, but like, does anyone else get this feeling where if you're just feeling a bit like, nah, or a bit insecure, a cardigan, a jumper or something will make me feel like safe. Like not even safe from people judging me, but just like safe, just like safe and snug. I don't know if I'm completely alone with that, but I've always been like that. Like if I'm feeling a bit insecure, just in general, I'm not even going out, I'm not even seeing anyone. And I want, it's like a little hug. I'll put on like a sweatshirt, even if I'm not cold, just cause it like, it's a bit like a weighted blanket almost. Anyway, this is not gonna give you weighted blanket vibes because it is light as a blooming feather. But for working out when you're gonna get a sweat on, but you just want that, layer is perfect it's got that cropped length to it it does flow out which i really like um it's got its zip is quite high if you're like me i tend to like the zip to come a little bit lower so that's just me again being pernickety but it's like that it's got a lovely kind of boxy shape to it and like i said holes but very very thin very lightweight like like air pretty much <laughs> and then we've also got the top, that black seamless top, had a tight fit to it. This isn't the same as the black one because um, the black one had the more like, same as the zip ups, that like more thicker, noticeable, you know you're wearing it, it's like tight, it's like holds you in. This has got a little bit like around the sleeve and stuff, you have got that like, not compression at all, but it's like, it's on your skin. Then this area of it is again, it's like the light as a feather, airy, very weightless. You've got a bit more of a cut on the neck there. If you don't like something that's kind of, a kind of high, not high neck, but like, you know, like crew neck can be a bit, bit up on the neck sometimes. I think that's a really flattering kind of neck cut. And it's also baggy, like from the side, people often like that. It kind of, you can obviously wear it like down like that, or you can roll it up like I tend to do and just have it a bit more flowy. So I just really like the cut of that. I find the cut of this one really flattering. And I like the fact that it's airy. But if you're someone that's overstimulated, you don't like tight sleeves or whatever, you have still got that ribbed little bit of different fabric there. Guys, I know I'm going into so probably pointless detail for a lot of you, but I just really, <laughs> I really like, like to get my reviews right. And I get really upset if like I review something and it's not or, like, I forget to say something and then I'm worried this one's going to buy it and be like, oh, Karis didn't tell me that. And I'm just like, I put a lot of value and, I don't know, onto my reviews that I give you guys because I just want them to be helpful, I think. I just want them to be like actually useful um, in making like a good decision on what like works for you. Okay, I'm gonna take five and have a bit of my tea and then what are we gonna move on to? What should we do next? So we've done seamless, we've done those. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm back from my tea break. So one thing I wanted to run over before we jump onto the training leggings is the Everyday Seamless. Now the Everyday Seamless, this is my new pair here. Everyday Seamless is basically a seamless legging that is very, very thin and very, very stretchy. Now when I first got this legging, this is a relatively new legging, I think, um, I wore it so much and I still do, but this is the new, like how it comes when it's new. After a few washes, um, I found that it just had I mean, you guys have probably seen it before with loads of different fabrics, but it is that type of fabric that will do that. It had these little gatherings and these little bobblings. Now, I had such an interesting talk with my, when I do it in the style collections, there's always like a garment tech in the sample meetings where we like adjust everything and do everything like that. And I was having a chat with her last time and I was like, what is bobbling and why does it happen? Because I was talking about Thing, like to do with loungewear. We were planning some loungewear stuff for a collection that I'm releasing in January. And I was like, I'm really keen to get like loungewear that doesn't bobble because that's the sort of thing that happens with so many products, whether they're really expensive, really good quality or not. Sometimes I won't, like, it'll just be kind of random things in my wardrobe that bobble and things that don't. Um, and it's really just to do with the fabric. She was like, at the end of the day, bobbling is literally just like fabric like where there's friction, little bits of the fabric come off. So it's often with things that are like kind of brushed fabric or that are very thin, like thin, not thin and like sheer, but like 
thin and soft so when something's made to be like super stretchy like this is like genuinely such a stretchy fabric like look at that it's stretchy it's comfortable but then that's the type of fabric that is prone to kind of having that bobble in it's not really such an issue anymore because obviously they've got these things that you can get on Amazon which you literally just go and it like takes off all the bobbles on your clothes. She was telling me about them. I was like, I need to get one. Like, why do I not have one already? Use it on carpets, use it on loads of stuff that bobbles. But as I'm doing my very in-depth review, I wanted to give you an example of that's the everyday seamless and how that washed. All of the other things I've not had that with. Um, literally, I keep talking individually about what's washed well, but I like personally think every single thing that i've had has washed well um so next we're moving on to training leggings training leggings right i've literally worn training leggings for years um they've had such i don't really see the point in showing you my other colors apart from the black just because they have such a range of colors with training leggings and all the colors that i have from over the years aren't online anymore so the black is obviously always online um but they've got some other really lovely colours too. They'll all be the same kind of fabric and makeup. So it just really depends what kind of colour you want. Now, again, this is a medium. It's quite tight, but I'm sort of, again, in between medium and large. So I really love the trainer leggings though. You have got that white logo, so it's not as subtle as the Elevate. And you have got a slightly thinner um, waistband as well, but it is still, and it's not like the legacy, like it's not like, literally super high-waisted it sits quite nice in the middle before the elevate legging i wore the training legging like i would wear the elevate legging like i wore it every day um, and i washed them over and over and over and they washed really well and i loved them then the elevate legging came along and it just topped it for me so i've just been wearing the elevate since but i still love my training legging they're slightly like less stretchy but they are that buttery soft comfortable fabric i always used to wear these for like um traveling up to Manchester for my meetings within the style. The sun has come out, <laughs> so that's probably not helping, but I mean, you can like, I can barely see see them, see the blue, um, but I can see it a tiny bit, but around here. Also, that could be due to the fact that, wow, the sun is really beaming now. I would say I probably the large is a better fit for me in the black training legging. Colors also can vary slightly when it comes to sizing. So the ideal would be for me to try on every single color of every single, <laughs> um like collection and be able to tell you all the details so that is love but i think i would suit a large better in that even though i'm happy with the medium and the elevate these just have a little less like stretch um so i think the large would work a little bit better in those like i said lots of colorways in those then the other legging that we've got which is relatively new but i have worn quite a lot and washed quite a lot these i can't remember the name of these but i just call these my waist my waist scrunch leggings um they have a scrunch at the back i'll show it, i'll show it off because sometimes the scrunch disappears when you put it on so that's the back scrunch they've also got a waist scrunch which i'd never actually seen before um now if you're going to be like wearing them for like kind of styling with your everyday outfits it might you might not like the waist scrunch but the fabric of these is divine like from putting on the training leg in it does have a bit more like less elongated stretch to it these i feel like i'm going to stretch for days the comfort is next level um gosh i love them but yeah like i said these are in a large the training was in a medium i do think the training in a large for me would be better so that's how the waist scrunch looks when it's on it doesn't disappear like the bum scrunch on the legacy like completely disappears so it depends like whether you want that detailing or not is the one at the back yeah that one the one at the back kind of disappears really because it's like stretched over um and what do we get in terms of see-through? That's pretty good. Same really. You might get a little glimmer, but I'm not really getting anything. I'll have to watch the footage back and see what you guys are getting. But in terms of comfort, like unreal. Love the thick waistband. You've got a little, with this rouging as well, you've got a little kind of waistband that adds a slight V, which is always really flattering kind of like for the waist shape as well. And they've got this gorgeous, gorgeous green pair as well. I was going to try these on with the training leggings. This is a little training top. Just that kind of like sporty, buttery, soft vibe. I think it's a really flattering fit. It's got more of a scoop neck than like a higher crew neck. Love it. Ooh, the other thing I want to show you. Training sweatshirts. Okay, again, my wardrobe is full of training sweatshirts in different colours that are no longer available. Like kind of brighter pinks and greys and 
This though is one of the newer colours, so I've only had this recently. This is one of the ones that I threw in the wash before it really needed a wash, because I was like, I just wanted to double check it didn't like fall apart <laughs> in the wash before I recommended it to you guys. Um, I'm obsessed with the colour. It's insane. Like, this has got to be my favourite colour sweatshirt that I've ever bought. Um, it's like a stone, oh, just look. Just look. I don't know if that sun is actually like distracting us guys from, it's like literally crisscrossed all, all over my stuff, isn't it? But it's like this. Sorry, it needs a bit, I've literally just grabbed this out of the washing basket, but the length is like that. And then I kind of tend to fold mine, fold mine over. The neckline is unreal. The seams down here, the drop shoulder, like everything that, to be honest, you can't fault it. You can't fault this sweatshirt, it is dreamy. I'm gonna quickly show you my favorite bras. So I have this in, again, they're slightly tweaking things all the time. So these are the camo wrap bras. It's just for me, has been an absolute, the best bras for me for working out. With my big boobs, they wrap around, they're just comfortable. They're not gonna be high support, none of my bras are um, for my boobs, but they are pretty much back in, well, when I first started wearing them, maybe a few years ago, the only like sports bra that even fit me. And um, they got these thicker straps. They got a lot of kind of like, I don't know, just thickness and support in like a way of like fitting nice on your body, not actual like support. Um, but yeah, right, this is really lovely. It's a training tee. Now I've only got this more recently, the more recent one in this purple color. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be getting it in different colors. I just tried it on the other day and I was like, that fits so nicely. I really, really, really struggle with t-shirts, especially t-shirts for like working out in or doing anything in really. Oversized, like if they're tight fitting, it tends to like just, I think I like suit that better. Maybe it's because my big boobs. I often feel and look so stiff and frumpy in an oversized t-shirt. But this I tried on the other day. I was like, okay, I need this in like every color now. Like I need the black, I need the whatever colors they've got because I really liked it. I really liked the long arm, I liked the drop shoulder, I liked the neckline, I liked everything. And I liked that it was just like a basic tee. Then these are some of the leggings that I've talked about just to briefly show you. Pocket leggings have a shorts version. Elevate leggings in the shorts version. These shorts I wear non-stop all summer. The Elevate shorts I wore all summer. The sweat seamless shorts are absolutely beautiful. Training shorts I've worn for years and these are the shorts that I always wear under my dresses and everything like that. These are the super short ones, so they have training cycling shorts, which are a lot longer. And then they have training shorts, which are very short, like hot pant size. Those go under my dresses, absolutely love them. And then this was a more of a recent kind of release, which was the Sweat Seamless Skort, which is like a tennis, like skirt skort thing with like Sweat Seamless shorts underneath. Very flattering, love. So that was just a quick run through of like all my most worn shorts. Now we shall move on to the joggers and stuff. More of like an older style that I love is the rest day collection. I pretty much love all their rest day stuff. I think my camera's run out of battery, so I'm gonna go and swap that before we continue. Okay, I'm back. The wind noise, <laughs> the window is shut, but the wind noise is still going. It's gone very gloomy and rainy again, so that's a good time to get snug in the lounge sets. Okay, so I've got this because I wanted to show you the colors, but basically the rest day, um, joggers and hoodies I've loved and had in my wardrobe for a long time. Um, I wouldn't say I reach for them as much as I think I do, but that's probably because I tend to be more of a leggings girl than a joggers girl. But if I am gonna go for a pair of joggers, these are like the perfect shape in my opinion. They're so, so nice. I love obviously the stretchy waistband and just the general fit of the joggers. Tires on the inside, which I really like because I think it looks much smarter. Um, and it's just got, they've just got a very lovely like quality feel to them, as with all the Gymshark stuff, um, really, like it's all just lovely quality. Um, so yeah, I just really like the fit. So these are the, let me get the names right now. We've got different colours when it comes to these. We've got the beige, kind of like beige mull, and then this is a white mull. This is like a very like light heather grey, but they call it white mull, but it's not white, but it basically is white. <laughs> Do you get me? Like you'll see against the hanger, like it is more of a gray. Um, and this is more of a beige. Then the other color they've got is this black slash gray. I mean, it's basically a black mull. Now for me personally, 
I thought that I'd prefer, because I tend to love like a darker colour, but I would prefer like just a plain black or a washed black rather than a black mull. It's just like not a colour that I tend to reach for. Um, but these two I actually really love and wear a lot. So I'll show you, I don't know where my white mull joggers have gone, but I've got those two. Now it's heavy weight in terms of, it's not a lightweight set, like you can feel the weightiness in it, but that in my opinion is what makes it fit so nicely. Like look at the hood. I can't stand a floppy hoodie. Like it just, oh, I don't know why, it's just my thing. I just love a puffy hoodie. Like it's just really nice. I love how they fit. It's got like a boxy kind of cropped cut. It is full length like that, but they just like go together really nicely. Like that. So when I first got these, I was like, oh, I'm probably not gonna wear them that much because they're like not the classic, like, you know, like very brushed, silky, fluffy fabric. They are not that inside, they're like this. But for some reason, I just like it. I think it's that it sort of is snuggly, but you can actually layer like tops and stuff underneath it without getting like the sweaty, fluffy, do you know what I mean? I don't know, it's just got a different vibe. Don't get me wrong, I love the, fluffiness under sweatshirts and stuff like I always do that style of sweatshirt with my inner style I love that like snuggly vibe but I didn't realize how much I would also just love the more I don't know it feels more like smart almost like as I'm wearing it the other sets which are newer and newer to like so I had these ones first this color first so I've washed this color so I was happy with how they washed as well no bobbling no nothing like that these are the same, aren't they? They've also, yeah, they're also not fluffy and soft inside, but they have, I think, because of that, they have that structure. They have a bit more, I don't know, they just, both of them are the same and they're both like my favorite fits. Like, look how nice that is. Next level, nice fitting joggers, like obsessed. They've got this insanely like amazing hoodie, which I'll show you in a second which goes with the gray. I'll put this on, actually, yeah, I'll put it on now with this one and then we'll swap to the gray joggers that match. Um, but these are again, a kind of like heavyweight, really lovely quality. That's the detailing on this one. And then on the rest day, similar colored embroidery with the Gymshark logo. I showed this on my Instagram story the other day, but basically, again, you've not got that fluffy, cozy feel to it, but I've worn this so much since getting it. And I love it. It's got basically like this waistband that comes in. So it's like an oversized hoodie. Not got quite as puffy hood as the rest day hoods, but it is still puffy. It's not a floppy hood. But for this one, you are wanting the shape. This is like the uniqueness about this one. You've got these pockets, which is so nice. You've got that like subtle logo in there. It's got this now, I feel like as a jogger set, it doesn't like do it any justice. I feel like I need to put it on with a pair of leggings because it just works so nicely with a pair of leggings. I was just thinking then when I wore these downstairs to change the camera battery and I was thinking like, I was like, wow, after trying the training leggings on, which have always been like a massive fave to mine and then going to these scrunch ones, I just think obviously over the years they make tweaks to different collections and stuff. And I think the training leggings have had a few tweaks to them recently and actually these newer fabrics now just completely outweigh the training ones for me. Anyway, so that basically shows the kind of tightness there of the band and how it comes in. And I just think with a pair of leggings, it is so lovely and so flattering. And also you can pull it down a bit more full length. It is gonna like be tight uh, like on your stomach, like that's just how the design of it is. So if that's not something that kind of works for you, then probably stick with the rest day hoodie styles or you know different style of hoodie but it's just unique like I've not seen anything like it before and I just thought it was really cool and like really flattering and I actually ended up kind of like reaching for it and wearing it quite a lot since having it so I wanted to show you guys that then I will show you so that was those were the scrunch waist um leggings as well and then the matching joggers as well love them so much i've just gotten these ones because i started with the kind of is that like khaki the other pair were they like a khaki neutral um then i ordered these because i thought i love them i'm gonna wear them loads i think i'll get a lot more use out of this darker color so that's the matching set 
I mean, it is really lovely together, but do you know what I mean? Like they just, the hoodie just really kind of cinches in and then really kind of molds nicely with a pair of leggings. I have literally showed you everything there, um, but just for an example, the joggers, I will use way more for like, whether it be with something like this or like my plain black skims t-shirts or whatever my plain black ones are, I've got quite a few now. And styling then your joggers with like, let's put an outfit together just quickly. These are actually my leather vans, guys. I'm obsessed. I got them in the out there. Um, and they're like, I love my like fabric vans, but these ones actually wipe down because they're just like leather all over. Such a game changer. I'm obsessed. Can't get them on. Perfect. Yes. Just love. Okay. And then that's the type of oversized jogger vibe we go for. I tend to with my joggers. I can't help it. I just think I'm small. I hate it when stuff ruffles. I tend to like always just roll them over one or two or I'll roll it at the top. So I'm sort of getting into the jogger styling at the moment. Like I said, I'm a leggings girl at heart, but when I see the Pinterest jogger outfits, I'm like, I need to be, I need to be the jogger girl with like the Adidas Sambas, the blazer, like people that should just wear their joggers with like a black blazer and they just look amazing. Like, come on, we need to, we need to start. Oh, see, that would look cute with the leather jacket too. That's a cute outfit. Oh yeah, that is cute. That is really cute with the joggers, actually. Love. Okay, before I chat your face off about styling, <laughs> I will end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have absolutely had a whale of a time ch chatting so much about all those Gymshark pieces. Everything is just different for everyone. So I hope I could be as helpful as I could be. Um, happy shopping. Don't forget my code Karis gets you 10% off even on the sale prices. Right, I'll love you and leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.